homework time, 4.30, 5.30 every Wednesday. 3.30, 4.30, we have a great Bible study on Wednesday. Come then, after school on Wednesday. It'd be great. Go to the next one. I already, already talked about this one. Next one. I've already talked about this and the next one. And the next one, Troy is encouraging you to write to him. If you want me to take a letter to him, you're welcome to just give it to me and I'll take it to him. I'm going to go see him on November 4th. Next one. This is the one Amanda was talking about. If you go to Bible study with her on Tuesday nights, she walk or she goes up the road here to St. Mark's, that church that gives the most to keep the rock going. Uh, and at 6.30 on Tuesdays, they have a great Bible class until 8. And she's encouraging you to come along. She's inviting you to come along. And if you let her know, she'll even meet you down here and walk up to uh, church on Tuesdays and be there by 6.30 and then uh, it ends at 8, and then at the end of the Bible study, which is lasting till when? It's till December 19th. So December 19th of this year, mm -hmm. yeah. maybe it'll end and she'll throw a party for those people that are going. So she's encouraging you to go, which I think that is wonderful, and I commend uh, uh, her for I that and encourage you guys to go. If you want to go and I'm not here, if like they want to go and I'm not here, the day, like a certain day of the week, and they want to go on that day to let you or Brandon know, and you guys can let me know. Mm -hmm. I can meet you up front or on the side by the bike rack and okay. walk up with them. And where they meet is they, you just walk up the road here and you pass the church building, which on the on the it's right. St. Mark's Parish Center. And then you go to the Parish Center, <laughs> which is the next. Uh, uh, well, it's it's probably two doors down. Go in there and downstairs, right? Well, yep. Or Curly has his birthday party every year. Right. It's on. It's in the basement of that. Yeah, that's it's where right the old, where the old rock, rock used to be. Okay. <laughs> okay. You can close that up and bring up uh, the talk time. Uh, go. And then uh, we do have a song that's going to fit perfectly. And if you could sing it with me, I'd love it. It's called Blessings in Disguise. We pray. All right. Oh, yeah. Pray for my dad. Okay. Yes. Is, or, his dad um, is going to go through gallbladder surgery. Gallbladder surgery. Okay, yeah. Two weeks from today. Nathan. God, as we come to you in prayer, we pray for your power and your strength and your encouragement and also the Holy Spirit to strengthen our faith so that we trust you. Because sometimes we think that we can judge you that we can counsel you, that we can ask questions about why you're doing this or doing that. Forgive us, Lord. We sometimes think that we should be you. Help us to remember that you are the awesome and sovereign God who knows all things. and You love us, you forgive us, and you take care of us. And Help us to trust that even in the bad times. We pray also for people who are ill or going through suffering like the ones that were mentioned, or the one who went through a stroke, also, that would be Nathan's mom and also Tyler's dad, uh, who will be going through surgery. We pray for those teens who are having difficulty at school and, and their grades and doing their homework. Help them, dear Lord, as you give them the commitment to do well in whatever they do, doing the best to your glory, uh, not to our glory, but rather to your glory as you've created us and you have given us the skills and talents. Help us to use them to the best of our God-given ability. In Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay.